mic working away. Fifty two point five. Pretty sure fifty two point five grams. Can you pass me the scale, please? I mean a bag. Absolutely. Right here. Okay, fifty two point five five. Okay. <laughs> you don't have the pointer scale with like that. Okay, so this is the Barbara. LED. LED. Five two point five. Fifty two point five grams. Whoa! That didn't help by having you grab the hands off of the container. I'm just supporting the back because you yeah. see the back. No, 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 I thought you had the bag and we let you grab the back of the container. It's not a big deal. Nice job! So, that's the LED. That's the Barbara. That's going in the box. You know what you heard of this one? No. Yeah. I just want the flavor. I'm not trying to make my pipe bombs or nothing. I don't oh, want to okay. squish it or anything else. I just want to harvest those suckers. Mm -hmm. So over there we have the Betty Kirk LED top. You want to pass that to me? This all the sucker? Yeah, no, no, just the one bud. Medi Kush LED top. You you tell me which one's Medi Kush. Oh It'd be the purple one in there. The dark colored one. Right here. Okay, the one beside it. There you go. Bring me them both. Yeah, those two. Mike's got the gems right here. We've seen the tops and the pictures of these two here. We got the Medicush top of LED, Medicush top of HPS. Right off the hop here. We're not touching anything. We're gonna weigh out the scale. Arms up. Okay, the rock hardening of those ones just hitting in there. Right? Yeah. Hear the difference? Really dense. Yeah. Well, many. It's it's a denser plant. It's a cush. Which you can feel it right now. The way how dense it is, it almost stands right up on itself. You feel that? Eh? Isn't that nice? I mean, so I mean, of course, we did six different strains. Uh, all all them growing differently. Not growing differently. All growing with the same nutrient. Many ones. So everything is the same. Same temperatures. Same time. Same everything. The only difference was, was two different lights. Your phone takes a better picture than mine, though. Ah, you know what, I have Samsung. I have the, five, the 5S. Um, I know the, the, the new iPhone 6s are just like, killer. I mean, but definitely, the Android phones are amazing. But one thing you shouldn't do while you're driving is touch your cell phone and text and drive. I'm going to be saying that a lot. No, yeah, that's it again. Know. Oh, yes. It's some new poison. It's, you know what? I, don't th I think the new generation is going to lose their license right off the hook. No, no, they're going to kill people. Well, if they're caught, they lose their license for 10 years. If they're texting and driving, they can't have well, any problem. can't do that. If, they're, if they cause an accident, they should just take the texting license and driving for a new driver, they will lose it. Well, people are going to jail yeah. in the U.S. for texting and driving. Kids yeah. are going to jail for serving yeah. lifetime uh, imprisonment for uh, yeah. killing families. Sure. I mean, if you think, if you said you're going to close your eyes for 10 seconds while you're driving down the freeway doing 120, who knows what's going to happen, eh? Well, that's what happens when you text and drive. Just saying. Just saying. Driving is work. You know what I like the most Driving about the Medicush? Is how much it smells. Beautiful. It smells so amazing. It truly, truly is. It's one of those more um, aromic, like you can just smell it. As I'm touching this, I mean, we're talking more about uh, the terpenes and getting them from live plants. And I know that's what the ratio was doing. That's what Tony was talking about. Of course, if you're not watching Hash Church, you're on the yard next week. Uh, Sundays, every Sunday, 9 a.m., we have Hash Church. You watch it today, Mike? I watch it anyway. Yeah, they go on sometimes. Yeah. We get into rants, and but you gotta wait for the bombs to start dropping in Hash Church, and they happened early today. I would say about 43 minutes in, we start dropping some bombs oh. on uh, times and temperatures, decarboxylation rates, and and when for hit for seeding, just all that good stuff. So here we go, Medi Kush HPS coming in nice and that around 40 grams. 
what you're seeing is consistency grows per plant, which is nice. That's what you want to see. So all different sizes of these plants, what we're getting is it's just amazing. Boom. We got 43.9. 44. You do a little of this? Oh that's the LED one. Ooh. So this is that. This is this is 44 grams. So this is Medicush. Medicush. HPS. Uh, HPS. And we are at? 43 grams. 44 grams. 44. 44. Alright. I'll verify for these four people. 44 all in. Yep. Can you pass me a bag, please? I can pass you a bag. So we got, um, Maddie Kush L H P S yeah. and we got 44 grams. It's actually 43.9, but we always try to give the it's HPS. Floating. It's floating. Then we give it's it the floating. benefit of the doubt. Where with the LED, we take it back a little bit because we don't want to be biased. Am I saying that? We're not, We're not biased. Hey, you know what? We're in Supreme Court right now, fighting right now, specifically for our right to continue to grow our medicine. So uh, check us out live Twitter, uh, cannabis at cannabis culture, and of course at John Burfello. Just my name, J O H N B E R F E L O. That's on Twitter. You know, I'm uh, just trying to get the information out there about what we're talking about, guys. So um, once again, awesome. more on standardized medical growing, growing medicine at home. It's so important. Really, truly is. I mean, it's it's it gives me my quality of life. I mean, I just watched all those resin glands fall all over the floor. I almost cried. Can you imagine what the licensed producers are doing to this resin? They're graping it. All of the stuff that I'm talking about right here, right now, what helps me so much. They're not allowed to give me. They they have no idea what they're doing. But long story short, I'm not getting this. That's pretty much a guarantee. I think you would agree. Oh, this is epic. This is because I don't think they're allowed to. Or I don't even think they're capable of being able to produce sup crate resin like I do. But you know, I'm always open for hire. You know, I'm looking at you know, you know, if they pay 1.2 million a year. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I could never work as as a grower for uh, any facility whatsoever. I can consult, but I mean, consulting isn't really. Eh, eh. Watch my videos; they're free. <laughs> it works, huh? Well, I am. I'm basically consulting for you guys right here. I'm showing you what I do, and this is my way of showing you what I do. I mean, I'm not an expert. I am a, I am a patient. I have been growing for my legal medicine since 2006 when I got my license. So I'm, uh, I'm a veteran in the program, in a sense. A lot of people got their licenses. Uh, 2010, 2011, 2012 was the big spikes, but no one really had the licenses back in the days. There was only a few thousand people. So once again, they weren't set up for the program to explode like it did uh, in 2010 and onward, which they talked about in court quite a bit. They talked about the explosion of the licensing. I think that's when I got my job as a legal medical cannabis educator slash advocate. That would have been uh, September of 2009. Uh, my job was to help people, gardeners who were coming in and growing uh, cannabis, uh, to help them realize that they had a legal medical garden they were growing. So we helped them out with papers, putting them in the right direction with doctors. And, and it was really uh, it was really great and rewarding to be able to help so many people be able to be able to not live in fear of growing their medicine. So. You know, beginning stages of uh, of when I was involved, program, been involved for a very long time. I'd love to grow my medicine. This is nice and dry. It's just yeah. perfect for dry sifting. It truly is. It really releases so nice, huh? Oh, amazing. So I took like a few buds off of this and smoked it prior. Okay. <laughs> you must be over 20 grams now by now, aren't you? Mm. No, no, no. Uh. Paws off my resin. Okay. Big. 
tree trunk. Mike saw that there was a piece of trunk in there. He figured that would weigh about 0.2. So um, he made sure that this was as close as we can get to uh, being objectively fair. Being objectively fair. Which is always good. Because my objective to get stinky present. That's it. That's all I want. That's my objective. I think the Medicush is falling a little bit under here. Uh oh. Uh oh. No uh oh's. No, you're saying it's under already. Well, with the Medi Kush, with the LED, we have 36.8. Wow, that is. So that's under basically four, five, seven grams. 36.8. Mm -hmm. It's not a wow or nothing. It was definitely a smaller plant. It was definitely uh, not as. Uh, as robust as the other one. Can you pass me a bag, please? Yes, I'll do that. Uh-oh. These got tangled together, and now I'm knocking off all the resin. We got the Haley's Comet here and coming up next, which really looks pathetic. Screw me up, you keep pushing it on the back. That's what it makes. It, it, I'm, I'm just cradling it because I don't want it to come all the way. So I'm just cradling it so it doesn't come out because it's spilled up before. There's lots of crystal here. There we go. So, coming up next. Got all the crystals inside of this thing. Oh, yeah. It's the HC. Is it uh, too warm again, John? Or is it matter right now? It is hot in That's for sure. Okay. Oh man. Anyway, you kind of trim this one up. Oh, it's the Haley's comment. It's what your medicine is your most. I'll let you in there. That might get in there. Yeah. Work away. I have a few John and Joy and I guess this. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll this up a joint. Sounds like a good idea. Do you like that idea? Yeah. It works. Get a little bit of snack going on. We need some cannabis infused. What we gotta do, John, is we gotta do cannabis infused, hard candy, something similar to the Jolly Rancher. A hard candy, like a lozenge, and those would be premium. Oh, people have them. We have them in the house. Yeah, but make it for yourself. Make your own. Making your own candies. Yeah. 
just there's just a control con control process. I like it. Alright, I get the real natural lime and lemon flavors. I haven't had a bag of any for sure. Oh, is it ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Yeah. Let's do it. Just cracking 20 now. I like what we've done now. Put a liquid lamination over top of the coating here. So now it doesn't rub off because we were having problems with it over time while it's rubbing off. So, yeah. you know, give it up to. Um, you're looking again, um, Brandon Met Tainers. You know what? Uh, we have a liquid lamination that goes over top of the coating. So it really pops up now, guys. You can see that. We'll show you a good close up of these Met Tainers we have here. Um, <clears throat> it's just our Met X line. Of course, uh, this one here is a completely, we used to ground 420, and it goes all the way around. It's a beautiful med tanner. This is probably the most expensive med tanner on the planet right now. On this planet. Yep, carries the lighter, kind of matches. thought that was kind of funny. Mike doesn't like these rollies, he's always curled up and he always gets around. No, when you, try to, when you try to roll up, sorry, well, guys, it's off the table. Wow, that's okay. I was saying sorry that I was like uh, calling you out or something. Uh -huh. You like to do that? Well, you know, we're neighbors. Uh -huh. I'm not going anywhere. No, I can see that. <laughs> You got this guy's a neighbor, so why would you go anywhere? Yeah, 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 pretty much. And you've been here like 18 years, so it's pretty 20? much. 20? I think it's 20 now, it's uh... 19, 19, 19... He ain't going anywhere either. 1994, we bought the house. What was that doing in 1994? 1994... Let me back that up a little bit. Well, I hit the dump truck. 1994, I was importing Santa Fe Pottery from Mexico, South Russian Imports was the company, and I was working as a glazer full-time, so my part-time job, and, um, yeah, I was, um, going outdoors, Maple Bridge. Oh no, 240th, a little, uh, little plantation outside, not much, you know, like five plants, but they were huge, you know what I mean, it was fun. Trees. Yeah. It's more about fun. Yeah, officer, I've only got five plants. I've already got a trunk six inches thick. <laughs> it's a plant. That's a loophole. How's the weight on that so far? Well, we're poor here. We're 33.6 so far. Oh yeah, well look at the mighty push. I mean, look at the LED one. It looks like it's going to be like 5 grams. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens with that. Huh? We'll see what happens. There's more here. comparison with that one. I had two of them, and I might have screwed up which one I was growing on there, so... I'm going to them in, right? Yeah, there's popcorn stuff. They're over there, aren't they? What? The other Haley's. Yeah, they were in the corner, and then your barber was sitting right next to it. Well, we're keeping it real here, guys. Haley's. Comet with two M's or one? One. C O M E T. Haley's Comet. HPS. And how you spelling Hayes? Hey, there's several ways of spelling Hayes. H A L H A Y L E Y S. Okay, yeah. Because there's all kinds of ways to spell it. Okay, what are your couple of nugs? One here. 
That's it. We're done. It's done. We're done. Oh, it's a little Sorry. more behind you. On the bottom branch. Oh, I'm sorry. That's some serious weight down there. It's like a point two. Wow. It was more than that. Point seven. Okay. Our total weight right now is 38.6. Yeah, 38.6. HC, HPS, 38.6. Very good. Oh. Oh, did you want to add that top in? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. How about that one? Well, that's, that's a little different, point, right? That, that looks a little bit different. Don't yeah, that's, that's 41, not 41.2. Sorry guys. Well, we had to include the tops that were sitting there. Yeah, see, they're sitting right there. And we talked about that. And you guys would be like, hey, what about those tops over there? Because they're good. They're good. Yeah. Okay. 41.2. Next one behind me. Right here. Yep. Oh, here, is it zeroed out first? I wouldn't zero out in a minute. Oh, that's okay, I can do it for you. Have a look. Let's scale. Let's hold the scale. Ha 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 ha. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Zero zero. Good. Alright. Excellent. Wow. 2.9 right away. We got 39 grams to go. <laughs> Pretty much we know that the Haley's Palmer. That's a heavy head. Mm -hmm. That's pretty heavy, this one. Yeah. This one by itself is almost a gram. Wow. That's strange. Mike's turning into a bit of an expert. Enjoy her. He is. We're going to really help him out on his uh, next girl. He's going to go from seed. Get all new CBD, high C, high THC, high CBD strains. That's what you wanted. So um, we've, uh, we've, well, I bred them. You actually helped breed them in a way because you were here. Um, that was the males that uh, I found from your garden that I kept. That actually, well, you kept those. Yeah, well, that's what that's what's at the end of that room, pollen. And that's what hit this little side here. And that was that. Right. Boy, you just massacred that. I, I don't did. know why you did that. I did. I don't know why you did that. I mean, uh, just, he, he just threw off like 0 0.02 grams out of that. So oh, because I don't Well, then the bud just dropped on the ground. What are you talking about? Yeah, see, it just landed. Okay, I got distracted. I'm sorry, you're bugging me. <laughs> that's all right. It's just one of those shitty things that happen when we do Yeah, that's always so close to the bud. You're like right tight on that bud. That, you just dropped the bud that would then fall off. See on the ground there? That is that. There you go. Okay, sorry. He's sorry, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna light here or not. It's kind of heavy here in the shadows. No, it's gonna be my show right now. What's that? Okay, so I can see that. Um, I was just over there checking some things out, seeing how things were. I got this joint all rolled up. Mike's almost done. I'm lighting this in. I'm going to be doing the My Little Pony over there because it looks like I'm happy. Good, I'm glad you're happy with it. You did a good job there, John. Just in my color. Just cut that whole thing off here. Just, yeah. yeah, there you go. Come on, kid. Where are the wood? Yeah, Mike's the guy who's uh, making, keep keeping us honest. That's the top button. You want to cut that down. There you go. Yeah.
Strains, right? So I mean, we got to take a look at. I know we went to grounds per watt, but I mean, the Spectrum King did all the same strain. I'm pretty sure. Where I've I've done six different strains, six different types of growing. Uh, each the, each strain grows differently. So what we're seeing is consistency with just you know a couple strains, but now when we're not with the others, where the Congo and the Barbara by far outstood it with many cushions behind with the LED and I can just tell by looking at the, the My Little Pony is going to shine too, it's going to be a little bit better. So I mean it's averagely way out but I think we're going to get a pretty even Steven here which is and then we take a look at what we're saving via electricity, power, efficiency, getting under those certain kilowatts that we're looking at um, and all that fun stuff. What do we got there Mike? We have a 28.8 it's kind of floating between 7 and 8, kind of float, float, float. 28.8. Yeah. The other one was a 41.2, so that's just a big drastic one on, on that. But that's just the way the Haley's is, right? So we saw how it was growing, and, and uh, see, this is the best thing about it, is we're getting our different opinions, which is awesome. Label that one. Oh, that's just my lady coach. That's my, that's just the bag I smoke out of. Oh, okay. okay. I know what that is. So this is HC LED, and we got it at twenty eight point eight. Point eight. Yeah. Which for me, uh, I always said average between an ounce to an ounce and a half a plant. So this is my average. <coughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch the spots. Ah. Is it? Yeah. You're trying to run. No, I'm just. Yeah, let Can you do me a favor, my friend? Pass me a set of gloves. Set of gloves, and you. You bet. I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go inside and have a drink and finish smoking this drink, come back and do this one here. So. We're always working here together. That's the best part about it. Oh, it is nice. Oh, you see that? Is the catch the flip? If I would have landed in my fingers like that, it would have been like the boom, right in. Mind you, I'm not left handed, so it won't work out that way. Oh well. All right, clean this up. So, my little pony, Mike. Would you want me to do that one for you? I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, I, I just, I just. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the My Little Pony with the HPS. Mike's going to give you a close-up shot of it in the bucket. Because, um, of course, we don't want to be biased. There's all the presents inside of that. i got a clean pair of gloves. What do you got going on? Uh, well, clean pair of gloves. I'm going to handle the camera. Oh, whatever. You didn't handle anything with those gloves. Okay. Oh, no, you did. You were trimming. There you go. That's what I thought. That's the day, that's what I thought. They, didn't care they would have caught that. Of course they would have, but that's what I was saying. Just saying. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I heard them. I heard them. I'm like, no. Mike, we're just trimming the plant, guys. So. Oh, that doesn't work. Just the popcorn on this is just insane. Turn the thing on. 
but in my hand it's at zero and it goes Mike's just going to be a camera guy right now All right, let's check and see what you're doing here, John. You can do whatever you want, my friend. Look at the pro go. Huh? That's it, look at the pro go. I'm no pro, man. <laughs> I'm not a pro. Sure make it look easy. Huh? Sure make it look easy. Hmm, done it enough times, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Hmm. Just enough. So for me, this is just like, you know, like I said, I've been legally growing my medicine for nine years. I was probably illegally growing it for 20 years. <laughs> but always growing my medicine, that was the best part about who I always was. It's never really changed, so I've always uh, liked to... Uh, Hate paying for something that you can just do yourself. It's like that makes sense. It's the plant. Mind you, also it was illegal. You can access it anywhere. No one will give it to you. You can buy it. Um, it's not like today's system where we have the legal system where we have so much legal cannabis happening worldwide. It's like not really how it used to be. So once again. The only way I could get weed when I was younger was to grow. What was the largest plant you had there, John? The largest plant that I've had? Yeah, what was the largest plant you had? Um, I would say it would have been the outdoor plant, and that probably would have been back in like 1991. And that thing looked like a tree. It was round like this and it was probably only about this high it was like a shrub and, and i truly i did that with a friend of mine here uh, that was maple ridge and we had those big outdoor plants and uh pretty sure they were blueberry too or something like that it was uh it was unique i got that from uh from bob he gave us the plants and that was the fall that i had my first indoor and uh, people said weird things that happened in the 90s. Well, uh, I got uh, in a car accident December 21st, 1991. Uh, I was in a bad car accident. And uh, the officer, lady officer, went to my house to tell my roommate that I was in the hospital and I was just got in a car accident. We had a little grow room. It was about probably six by six. And it had like eight plants in it. It had a 400 watt bulb. We had all the salts and all the mixes. It was three weeks in. And um, it was two four two four hundred watt bulbs. Long story short, he cut it down because he thought the cops smelt it, which was impossible. Um, it was the smallest room, and, and we were so scared. And uh, it drew, he had it all dried up. And when I got out of the hospital, he was like, "Yeah, I got some weed for you." Some old friends probably remember that and laugh out loud. <laughs> I remember that. Wow. So, always small crops, always little things, outdoors, growing outside, gorilla growing, no matter what. I was, uh, when, I, when, I, when I fell, I, 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 had, I was growing. I had plants in my closet. And I didn't. Growing outside, June, June 23rd, 91 is when, 2005 is when I fell and I had my outdoors and that was at Tyne Park in Surrey. Yeah, so uh, I had a nice little outdoor. Hyde Park, Park in Surrey? Yeah. Park. Oh, good grief. Yeah. It's off to the side, right off the freeway. You can access it in between 176 and one's and and um, and uh, 160th. Yeah. Old friends hiking in some streams, keeping our mothers under there, found some water. Lots of fun. Of course, always about growing medicine, growing your own weed, right? So, hobbyist, right? That's what I like to do. You're so free with it. How, how is it possible that more people didn't raid your grills just out of jealousy? I well, mean, well, there was nothing to raid because it's not like I was doing it for any big means or gains. I just had my my garden, so it was I'm harmful. I'm I'm not worth. Why John will just smoke over there? 
<laughs> that's the thing. They don't know that, that's the thing. Yeah. Never been charged for marijuana, never been... I've had my joints taken away from me in school and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. And searched and arrested and... Actually, I was charged when I was very young. Just picking up a large one that you bounced. Is it Congo? This is the Medi. This is the Congo, the Medi. This is the My Little Pony. It smells so nice, too. It's got to be cleaned up. You can see there's a lot of brown leaf in here. People will see that. We're at 52 rounds, too. Huh? I'm surprised. Oh, wow. This was my high. I already said this was. I can already see. This would be my biggest yielding plant. Let's have a look at that real close here. I like that stock. Yeah, it's very nice stock, that's for sure. You know, you really should do. You should make that into a souvenir. Okay. I have an idea for you. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> See how easy it is to pop off the stick like mm -hmm. that? These popcorn has like. Mm -hmm. It's all got resin on it, so. Okay, Joe, how about another story here? I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, did you, were you able to... I ever think I able, this, so it's nice. Oh, okay. Were you ever able to grow without people, like, your next-door neighbor know that you were growing? 100% had to. Like, like, like as a younger kid, though. Like, uh, huh? As a younger kid. Like, how were you able to, to... You've learned over time how to do things. Yes. But being so young, how were you able to conceal it so much? Well, actually, we used to break out neighborhoods. Oh, well, I see. <laughs> it's like those four days of trimming. It's like, holy fuck, come around the corner. You just know. How did we not get busted? I don't know. <laughs> I no idea. You figure if it's that heavy in the air. No, you would smell it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Body's coming down right now. <laughs> Harvest time. Best time of the year. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We had uh, death machines from the morgues for covering up smell. We'd burn incense. That's when the one line goes, oh, wow, well, the pot grow always burn incense. I left. 55.7. You guys want to check that out? So that there, you guys, is the My Little Pony. And uh, that is the HPS. Look at the sugar in there, eh? You can just see it nice and red. Look at the fire in there. That's the pre-98, well, this is the Bubba Chem, which is a, uh, a pre-98 Bubba Kush crossed with a Chem for Reunion. And uh, became the My Little Pony because I crossed it with the Northern Light number 5 Skunk Haze. And this is like the, the dessert of hash. And um, we're definitely crushing this whole thing over screens. We know for 55.7 grams, we're going to roughly get about 3 grams of resin. That's what we get with the Medi Kush. We're going to see how much we get with the My Little Pony. It'll be very, very interesting. It'll be kind of cool. So that will be one little test. So um, Mike's going to pass me a bag. And I'll do just that. Yeah, you pass me the camera. There no, you no, you're fine. You're good. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to write this down. we got the MLP. My Little Pony. We got HPS and we got it 55.7 grams. Good. Mike's writing it down too. He's one handing it. Alright. <laughs> can I get to change my hand over like this? What not? See how this works for Mike. Okay, and this was which one now? My Little Pony MLP. MLP. And it's the HPS is first. Yeah. And you had? 57. 55.7. 55.7. 55.7. Oh, wait a second. I have a top over there too. Okay, I'll just erase that 5.7. Okay, and that's the MLP. You guys remembered we did this. Yeah. You know, yeah, I know. Mike was looking yeah. up. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. We had these two guys here, so once again, I'm going to put this back on top. I'm going to throw that in there. That weighs 0.4, so we got. Point four. No, it doesn't weigh point four. I'll break off the stock. I'm not gonna be that because we already know how much that stock weighs. This stock here weighed point six. That was over half a gram. So, so we got uh, we had fifty five point seven, and we had the three point five. We got sixty grams on the nose, guys. Okay. 
Sixty. Yeah, it's three point three. Okay, here we go. Sixty grams. Sixty G's. So the My Little Pony from here is the best, most yielding plant. I'm going to mount the camera again because I got a few things to sort out. Yeah. This up by now. There we go. Put that in place. I don't know. Is this? The, I, I, I'm hoping this one's the. This one's smaller all the way around on the bottom. That could be the LED. HPS. This one looks more like the LED here. I mean the HPS. You can tell because these are smaller bugs on the bottom. Where those are more denser all the way through. I have to take a look back on the video to make sure that that's... Because it's mean my LP, not MPL. Uh-huh. You did MPL there. My pony, little. So, you'll know what that is. Yeah. There's not too many uh, <laughs> MLPs. Yeah, this is really small popcorn, you can tell. Yeah? Yeah, this has got to be the HPS. That was probably heavy. Okay. Well, no, I just gotta check. I'm not yeah. marking on the bag or nothing. I have to check the back of one how it was hanging and what was the first plant that was cut down and put against the wall. They look like very small. Everything here. Huh? Everything is very, very dwarfed. And it weighs out seventy point two grams. Oh no, that was the LED. It had to be. Yeah. Let's see how fast it starts growing. Perfect cure on this, that's for sure. These buds just perfectly snap. Like just excellent. Wow. Can you see how I'm trimming? Mm. Oh man, the turps on this is just amazing. It's got to be the LED. <laughs> and then humidity factor makes all the difference in the world. I'm carrying. It's amazing. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. You can see the fire in this. It's really red. It's really nice to see. All really small bugs there. The red is a medicine? Is that what we're seeing here? That's just the fire. That's, 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 oh. that's, that's, that's the OG Kush. Oh, I see. That's not the OG Kush. That's the Chem Dog. It's a, which is an OG. If I'm correct, could be wrong. I don't know right now. Hi. Mm. I'm sticking with that. Okay. So that's all I have to say. The last question's later because I'm high too. Right. <laughs> the last question's later because I'm high too. Okay. Oh man. That's killing me. Yeah, the, oh, that top's right there. Yeah. This goes oh, wow. This I, I can honestly say the fragrance from this one here is just so much more. This has to be the LED. Like, yeah. It just the fragrance is amazing. You can smell it. So, even though know, these look a little bit smaller, all these small buds are really dense. And just see the smell. Like this smells so much better than the other plant by far. Like the aroma from this plant is amazing. These huge cast off of the turf is amazing. Can you smell that though? Yeah, you're smelling it too right oh, now. Oh, it, it almost it's makes just, my eyes water so It's just so turf rich. from this right now are just amazing. Like amazing turps. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to breathe it in and breathe it in. Hmm? Just want to breathe it in, it's so nice. That's why I sucked it on the first bag. <laughs> I said, no, I just want to taste it. I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm? 
yeah guys you know what it's quite exciting um, I think the next step for me is really is uh, well we have our new LEDs on the go they're on their way up right now I'll talk with Brandon from Sunlight King of course these guys right here that's the reason why I'm changing my growing. We work on new feeding programs. We're not watering as much. We're using less water. We're using less heat. We're using no. Yeah, there's Even just less heat. Of course. Dehues aren't running. We're not running high fucking efficiency bulbs, so we don't have. There's less heat in the room. We're getting gonna get tighter buds. We're gonna. It's gonna be easier to control. We're gonna look at less. Um, well, we're not going to look at the evaporation as much because we're using high-intensity bulbs, using dehumidifiers to control the humidities in the room. So there's still going to be dehues and stuff like that. But, I mean, at the same time, that last room I finished at the end, we had the Medi Haze, and you saw that. I had no venting, no dehues, and I had no AC unit with two, uh, two of the LED Kings in there. And, I mean, I was just Mike was just talking how... I only had one in the beginning. I didn't add the second LED light in until like halfway through. So, I mean, really. Um, wow, fuck, these are rock hard. This is already at 45 grams. Are you serious? Yeah. We've set the pass to Ellen. Huh? We're going to pass the HPS. You know. Well, if they keep going this dance. Yeah, no. Comparable. Everything's comparable. Right, the Medi Cushion, well, the Haley's Comet, I said it right from the start, and I'm not gonna be able to compare the plant because it's just too different. The plants completely do completely different. Even when they were side by side, I just picked one, I didn't even care, I just picked one to go into the room. So, my real comparisons would have been with the Congo, the Medi, um, the Barbara, it's a really well known strain, it gets good consistencies. So we saw really good comparisons with that. We're also seeing it here with the My Little Pony. So we're definitely seeing good comparisons. This is at 50 grams right now. What do we have well, there? 60? 60 here. Nice. Yeah, like I said, they keep being dense like they are, we're going to pass 60 because if each of those is just one gram each, even half a gram is enough there to pass. Notice I'm leaving that one branch to the end. Yes, I can see that. The heavier one. I want to see comparability, and that was my biggest thing because with the other bulbs, we're using dehues, it's higher heat, everything. Now we want to see, you can see the difference with with the two plants side by side, you can see what looks like there's more resin production on the LEDs. So being able to separate and take a better look at that at that point, we get the ratios of finding out what we get is going to be really the really That's the next the test. Factor. So you know, answer something different. So you can have poor appearance but high quality, um, high yield. I'm not know. Pretty much going to say that this is going to come comparable. You must be over 60 by now, man. No, no, no. The last little bit, uh, something else happened with the scale because it's only gone up to two grams. We're at 57 grams. Well, pretty much it's like this. We got 57 grams. Alright, that's what we got, 57. 57.7. 57. 57.7. Alright. Yeah, well, it wants to be. I got off the table. 
<laughs> it wants to be back to 56.6. It's floating again. Okay. 56.8 now. No, 56.7. Alright. 57.7. That's what I got. It's in pen nails, we can't we're, do that. We're, we're thinking with like a gram or two, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, can you pass me yes, the bag? Yes, This is LP. I have to smoke one of these right now. LED. 57.7. Minus one joint, so now it's 56.7. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Smell that. Oh, wow. That is just something amazing. Put the lighter in the perfect one. That's, like highly, that's highly toxic, man. And it has in flames. That's amazing. That smells amazing. Doesn't it? That's almost volatile. It's just amazing. Wow. Fresh as it gets. Fresh as it gets. Sticky, that's for sure. Very, very yeah. nice and sticky. Beautiful. Let's know you want to get up. It and I'm fine. It hung for six weeks and it is so sticky. You figure if it was dry, it would be bone dry through, but that's amazing. No, not at all. Yeah. Well, because the humidity. You fought, you, it, uh, the humidity in here was 30%. Okay. And this resin. It's like the Medi Kush, I was just dry sifting behind you there. It is so sticky, it is unreal. No matter what you do. Mm. It's just times and pressures and all works. Oh, we'll dry talk of that. Give it the flavor, Mike. Mike's the flavor guy. How do you describe that? It's just. Something sweet and green, like a green apple, and you're breathing that in. Yeah, I was thinking. Mm. The turps in that are amazing. So much made my tongue tingly. Try to finger on that plate. <coughs> I used to always say if this side of my tongue went tingly, it could taste chemicals, and it's not this side of my tongue. It's like right here. It's like mmm, mmm. I don't want to tingle because it it's white ash. You know, it's like a, it's like a port. Wine. A port wine. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we have here, guys? Let's take a quick look here. Now, we didn't weigh up the, um, the Medi Haze because of what happened with the Medi Haze. I already saw that. Yeah, Gordon, that's right. So, HPS. HPS. We have 38.7 grams from the Congo. We got 50 grams from the Barbara. We got 44 grams from the Medi. We got 41 grams from the Haley. And we got 60 grams from the MLP. We got LED. We got 43.3 grams. We got 52.5 grams. We got 36.8 grams. Here's what we lose those on the Haley's Common 28.8 grams. And on the MLP, we got 57.7 grams. So now we're going to total this up. So, we've got 
7, we got 9, we got 8, this was 50, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 3 down, carry the 1, 5, we got 9, that's 10, that's 15, 16, 17, 18, plus 6 is 23. Oh, I just broke the pen. You drove it in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, got excited, guys. Plus... 44 plus 41.2 plus 60 equals 233.9. Got that down, that's no problem. Over here, LED 43.3 plus 52.5 plus 36.8 plus 28. Point eight plus fifty seven point seven equals two hundred and nineteen point one. So um minus. You know, stupid, it's the same thing. Hundred and fourteen point eight grams difference. So the difference is fourteen grams. Point eight. 14.8 more with the HPS versus the LED. Well, overall, I wonder how that helping in power. Everything else like that. So you know what? That's the weight we got right now. So I, mean, I don't know what else to say, but say thumbs up because that weight and what I'm seeing comparison. Now let's just say I'm running the Barber Bread or or the Congo or the Medi, they're by far doing great. They're, all of these ones, I think the Medi, um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not disappointed in it because um, I just knew that that plant was a smaller plant, so it wasn't really a big deal to me. I just wanted to see if it was going to work, so I put my shittiest plant under there at the beginning with because for me it was about what I got. So it's really kind of cool to see, guys. But uh, all said and done, we're going to be uh, dry sifting this, of course, and getting more into you. So this is the weight. This is the final weight test written down. This is what we got. HPS Congo, 38.7 grams. LED, 43.3. By far, that's great. The HPS Congo, let's remember that, sat right here under, it was a corner, surrounded by other bulbs too. Four footprints of them. Right, so it has, you know, so that's just the reality. So we know the LED just nailed it on the Congo. The Barber Bud, now here's the Barber Bud HPS, sat right here beside the Medi. So it had a fair kind of by itself, so that was pretty good, right? The Medi Kush was the one in the far corner by itself. It really didn't even get too much light at all. The Medi Kush sat over here in the corner, the furthest away from everything, and it got its least yield. Not really a fair test. Well, the LED one, it was directly over top of it, and it still yielded more over here than the LED they went over there. Because uh, Medi Kush, so that just shows you how good the Medi Kush is. Now, I love the Medi Kush, so that's just. Yeah, no, I was just showing you how, how well the Medi Kush did sitting in the corner. That makes interesting. Alright, so, I mean, all said and done, guys, um, uh, that was. Uh, Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, there you go. As always, guys, um, bringing you the education, showing you what we do best. We're going to get in here, we're going to dry sift. We've got all three screens, so we're going to give it different accuracies. we got all my jars. Got my maintainers, got all my stuff going down here. I got you guys to report to, so that's even better. So as always, puff and pass, guys. Share the video, share the love. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah. See in hash church too, guys. You know. Always oh, so good. Peace. Peace.